guys here's madame okay welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being a part of it if you enjoy watching the videos please 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 don't forget to subscribe as well as to hit the like button thank you so much and see you soon bye Hello guys, here's Madame OK. Today I want to invite you to work with me on a new painting done with watercolors. This time we'll be working on a series of citrus fruits that will be put together. What you will be needing, brushes, pencil to sketch, masking tape to uh, make sure that you secure the paper to the board, watercolors. I always like to have some paper towels and let us start here. We will start with the sketch. So what we want to do, well, we want to establish where those fruits cut out into the half or maybe sliced are. So I will start with the first one. And since they look very similar in terms of those cuttings, so you see we have like a quarter of the slice. Let's see which fruit will, can we have it, orange, right? So what we have to do, we want to establish the skin. And the skin, I think, will be very, very, very thick. So we have some of the orange here, and then we have this white skin later on. And then we have those nice parts. Like you see, when this is in the center, I will just, just use this point for myself here as a starting point. So that would be my center and make sure that you really will think about those parts here as the white ones. So we leave the white surface very much there when I'm drawing it here. So this part has to be erased. See, and that's just our skin like this, see? So make sure that it's a little bit wider, that you have an option if you want to, to change it a little bit, make it narrower. So certainly here we will have this, um, since there will be our orange, so we'll have here the orange color applied, right? Remember, white skin is very important. And then here we have the flesh of the fruit. Um, what we should do here? Well, the, the color will look good. So we will have orange here. I think that you can put a gray fruit or maybe, maybe a mm, green color. What do you think? So we will have a lime here. And again, lime is smaller than orange, so we don't need to have all the skin so heavy, heavy, heavy. And again, imagine now where this particular fruit will go so that we will find out where's our center. And I think, looking the way it will look here, I think the center will be here. So the center will be more or less open. So this is our skin, the green one. And then we have this white, flesh here around and then we are going with those parts again very much the same what we just done with our orange so one two and what else do we want to have here i think that we can have this time a grapefruit so the grapefruit will be even it will be similar in size to our orange and i'm thinking again you see invisible almost like a line here that's how it would go that would be half of it whoa So this will be probably open inside. And what do you think? The lemon will come here, but I want to have it uh, slightly differently presented. I want to show it like cut out through the half. Okay, so my lemon will be, maybe I just show here this part here. Then there will be the flesh here, or maybe the yellow will come here, the flesh will be here. And then I have to really make sure that I bring the flesh Now it's time guys to think about the colors. And I think we can start with the lemon. So I want to start from the top right corner. And for my lemon, I certainly will go inside first to get the fleshy color, okay? Remember that once the paint is dry, we can still use a razor and get rid of some of those lines because they are quite, quite heavy. Okay, so again, a little bit more of the paint. And I'm going on the top. Remember that we don't need to have the same intensity of yellow all over. That's a very important part that you will, you will know. And when we come to those edges, I think we can make a little bit darker color. want to 
to do is to go around like this skin here and get a little bit more of the orange. And this time I will be going for orange. Okay, so I will use orange color here. Notice I also will play some of the yellow. So I will play with both colors. Okay, I'm very careful not to go on those white um, parts because I want to really keep this um, division among those parts in the center flesh. Then I can decide which part I will cover, which part I will let the white surface of the paper I will leave exposed. See, that's up to me, but I definitely need to bring the lines into this, like triangle inside. you want to do is to go with some skin here around the fruit. Now you see why I want to make it for sure outside just here a little bit stronger. some place and just make it very this line very very narrow okay and I also will bring my fruit here the flash we want to come here and we want to make the red very strong grapefruit color okay so for sure we're coming here and the grapefruit will have yellowish maybe yellowish or reddish skin what is the grapefruit color i think it's yellow so we will have it next to the yellow hmm, it's okay And then a little bit of purple. Yeah, I've done it the same here, but I will still introduce more of the colors. And I'm really bringing some of my purple. See, towards the center. Like this here. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, and then believe me or not I can also do the same when I'm coming here to those edges still a little bit more intensifying you see just giving a little bit more of the shade good so this one is done except of the skin and with the skin, I want to get the same. A little bit of the yellow first. Right, a little bit of the yellow, and then thinking about some other colors. So to make it working, I think that I can put some of the blue in this section. So when I will apply it, I have to be very careful. So the blue has the purpose of just working with the colors in ceramic. I don't want to leave an empty spot here. And that's why that's why I apply it there. Now I will be looking for the skin. Stop working on it, and I think I can put some of the orange color, but not too much. My fruit here, and I certainly need to have it darker. Like you see, this part really has to be darker the inside. Except that I think I'm here. I still want to have a little bit more of that. 
doing this beautiful job and I'm still looking at here at the end so I think I can apply it this way doesn't matter how it looks I'm looking at my green color so my green certainly I need to have a skin and I can a little bit intensify it but I have to wait until it will dry and I'm going inside of this fruit here I have to come into the center and just pull the painting together so deciding what I have to add right if I have to add something you see I think that this looks too stiff yes I want to move it a little bit around okay that looks already better see so all those changes you can still apply as long as you put some water on your painting and then you will move whatever you want to move the side Okay guys, now we are moving to phase two of our painting and those of you who are interested, well, I would suggest that we do some splashes on our painting. I will show you a couple of things. First of all, I will use the silver paint here and I will splash it on our painting, you see? Paint, so you see, like this, keeping my brush vertically and then shoo, spreading. Okay, like this, couple of patches, I think that should be okay. Okay, like this see and then we have to clean up the surrounding so make sure that you use the shirt paint shirt and wash the hands after right away otherwise your parents will be very very upset with you and with me and I don't want that this will happen okay so here a little bit more of those strokes whoa that looks much better can you see it so the black really works our piece of paper see like this whoa I really like it whatever we created before we still can see it but we give a twist to our painting looks much more interesting so you see maybe we can also add darker blue okay so let us see what will happen with the blue my fingers are really dirty so, so hopefully there will be not a disaster now I use a different technique of applying the paint I want to splash it a little bit more and I still want to have this unpredictability so shoo 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 see and having lots of fun so i'm looking notice that we still have the masking tape i have to reapply it otherwise i would not be able to keep clean edges see and what do you think should we call it quit maybe maybe a couple more just to have fun i think that looks really good okay let's see maybe still a little bit more in this section a little bit more here and that means we are guys done. Wow. Whoa, what a big patch came on the top. But why not? We can handle it. Even when it's the big splash. Like this for the balance. See? Fantastic. So I hope that you enjoyed the process with me. Have a good day and see you next time. Bye.